This network is made entirely of identical resistors, each with resistance R. Point A is at the center, and point B is on the perimeter. We want to calculate the equivalent resistance between A and B. When a voltage is applied between A and B, the total current splits equally among the five identical radial paths. This means the current in each radial resistor is the same. So, the potential drop across each resistor at the same position in different branches is equal. Therefore, the potentials of these points are equal. Now comes a very important idea, if two points are at the same potential, then no current flows between them, even if they're connected by a resistor. So, we can safely remove all these resistors because they carry no current. Here's another key observation, along the outermost layer, there are no resistors connecting the perimeter points to each other. So, all perimeter points are electrically equal, they are at the same potential as point B. This means we can treat any outermost point as B. After removing the between layer resistors, we are left with five radial branches, each connecting A to B. The resistance of one branch is, now, these five identical branches are connected in parallel between A and B. So, we combine them like this.